Latoya Luckett talks about being overwhelmed with family and kids. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, y'all. <sighs> come on in, come on in. <laughs> this Sunday is going to be a little different, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, I love y'all too. I love y'all too. What's up? What's up? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. What's good with it? Yeah, that's a whole baby dog. <laughs> yes, indeed. I got him sleep, so. Um, thankfully, my mom just walked in, so she's got Gianna. Uh, but it's one of those Sundays. What's up, Chef? I see you in here, Chef KP. Yo, he's been burning down the kitchen for us, really helping out. Um, I mean, when I say the last two weeks, he's been cooking for my family um, and helping and making sure we getting them good meals in. Make sure y'all follow him at Chef KP. He's in here. Yeah, King Tyson. Yeah. Buddy, buddy is sleep, sleep. So, all right, let's get right into it, y'all. Um, I think, uh, whew, last Sunday, I got so many great um, uh, feedback, so much great feedback on uh, last week's check-in. Um, there were so many people uh, that could relate to the topic of um, forgiveness, unforgiveness. Um, and I'm so glad that we, we were able to just open up and be transparent. And um, it was definitely a, a vulnerable moment for me uh, because I, I don't really speak pub publicly about my personal life like that. Um, and I have no problem with it because I feel like my testimony can help other people. Um, but that was definitely, that was definitely a, uh, a heavy one last week. Um, so this week, um, I want to talk about, you know, ways of lighten lightening your load, uh, when you feel overwhelmed. Um, I almost allowed myself to feel overwhelmed right before the slide because I was, trying to get the kids in order. He was still hungry. I'm kind of here by myself today. Um, uh, I wanted, you know, it's Sunday. Everybody's chilling, relaxing. Mom wanted to go for a walk. Like, um, I just traveled back to Dallas. So everyone that is normally around to help me, um, of course, it's holiday season. They want to be with their family. So I'm like, y'all go do what y'all do. So I... I had, you know, both the kids. I was like, should I go live or no? <laughs> but something was like, mm -mm, keep the ball rolling. You got to. And I know there's so many people that, especially um, moms and dads that can relate to trying to figure out even, you know, when the kids, with, with the kids, without the kids, but, you know, with the kids, it's, uh, it can be challenging sometimes, but I was like, nope. I feel like I'm walking in my purpose by doing this, and I love speaking to you guys every Sunday, and I'm not gonna let um, being overwhelmed or having anxieties or whatever get in the way of that. So I wanted to talk to y'all about, um, you know, what you do when you feel overwhelmed, what you do when you feel like, ooh, it's crazy, it's a nice little circus right now. Um, and, and how, how to f keep your peace in that. Cause we talked to, we talked about that the Sunday before and also to keep a level head, keep your sanity. Let's be real. 
um, when you when you're starting to feel overwhelmed what are some steps that you can take what can you do to kind of just have that moment to exhale before you get there you know what I'm saying um, and uh, yes listening to music meditation yeah or saying okay maybe this is something like today I could have said you know what Toya you need to make you don't overwhelm yourself you don't have to go live today you know what I mean you've got the kids like just relax go watch some TV kick back you know what I mean with play with the kids you know do something like that but I was like no this is this is something that feeds me it's something that serves me being able to talk to you guys um, so I was like I don't want to lose that just because I'm feeling a little overwhelmed yes taking a walk I got a chance to do that today guys I got a chance to walk like four miles or something like that it was crazy um, and I really enjoyed that and I'm beginning to feel um, more and more like myself every day you know even taking that four mile walk I was like yes I love it I love it I love it I'm loving this me time um, yes i appreciate you guys too i see uh but uh let's talk about it let's talk about it let's it's time to check in let's do this oh i have to read this statement it says acknowledge that it's okay to pause and take a moment right where you are to take some deep breaths and center yourself amen and remembering to balance oh lord if that ain't the truth okay all right so who wants to check in today? Who wants to start it off? Who wants to start it off? Ha! Huh? Said so my husband and my kids know not to bother me when I'm coloring. Is there like adult coloring going on? Cause I want to be a part of that. <laughs> I love coloring. I'm like, you know what? Who says we gotta stop coloring? Like what i know we do it in preschool and it's like a part of what we do and of course there's art classes and things like that but coloring is it just brings me peace you know what i mean like grabbing a good coloring book and ah uh, it's so relaxing i'm like why do they not allow us to do that in high school and in the college and then we have like adult coloring breaks at work that would be phenomenal it's either nap time like who says we got to stop nap time? Like, why do they stop? I know these are some random, like, high questions. <laughs> like, <laughs> for real. Like, why can't we take adult naps at the job? Like, or why do they stop doing things like coloring and, you know what I mean? Things to boost our creativity as we get older. It's, like, allowed in preschool and, you know, throughout elementary and all that stuff like that. But when you get to middle school, it's like you suddenly have to become an adult and all the naps stop. <laughs> we need naps. I don't know when the last time I took a nap was. Okay, I'm lying. I took a nap on the bus here. We had a tour bus yesterday. And I took a nap. Um, I took a nap on the bus with the kids. So... Yeah, dang, I hadn't taken a nap in so long, so long. But yeah, we need more adult naps. We need to take time to have adult naps, we do. Okay, I digress, going back. All right, here we go. <sighs> Breathing in and out. Who wants to check in? Whoa, I see a mom of seven. Get it, girl. Pain brings you peace. Lord, get it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. He's in like a good deep sleep. Who wants to check in? Let's see me. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Ah, 
look at her going off to be great going off to be great hold on we're just gonna have to walk around a little bit it's fine it's fine it's fine okay who's up next before we go to um okay whoa okay yes indeed i know you waking up home too huh yep it's okay it's okay it's okay so what i'll do then since he is waking up and we've already what checked in with four lovely people Okay. I don't, I don't, I'm then I'm going to go off and then come right back on so that um, I can finish checking in with you guys and hopefully you'll be in better spirits. <laughs> so come right back. Come right back, guys. I will see you in a few. All right. Bye-bye. Thanks for tuning in. 